Your alarm bell rings, you get up, make your coffee, and then press the power button on the PC. After a while, you notice it's taking longer to load and you already drank half your cup of coffee. Finally, Windows loads and you try to open the browser, but unexpectedly, the browser stops responding and you try to open the task manager. And even that is having a hard time loading. By now, you are ticked off, you finished your cup of coffee, and you can't read your daily dose of the news. Of course, after this, you, you wait it out, and the first thing you search is how to fix your computer lagging. While there are a lot of helpful articles, there are some tutorials that show methods that don't work or even crash your PC in rare cases. In this video, we will be showing 5 computer fixes that do more bad than good. Articles. Before we start cracking these myths, click the subscribe button and then the bell button next to it to be part of my notification squad. Registry cleaners. If you ask a friend for help over a slow computer and he recommends a registry cleaner, eh, don't ever talk to him about computer problems. No matter how many articles there are about this myth, people still believe registry cleaners help their PC by taking out unused registry entries and make it blazing fast. It was a good way to speed up a PC in the 90s, but when PC processors were clocked at megahertz and RAM was still measured in megabytes. When those registries were clogged, uh, it slowed down the performance since it took up all the system resources to load the registry in the RAM. However, today PCs are 100 times faster than those 90s potatoes and loading a registry is not that intensive. What is even worse is that uh, some registry cleaners even delete the important registry entries and cause frequent crashes. <laughs> CC cleaner. <laughs> so bottom line, don't buy these performance enhancing programs. Number 2 manually defragment in your PC. Then, so the next thing you get suggested is to defragment your hard drive with a defragmenting program. This is not needed. Unless you have a Windows 98 machine, you are wasting your time. Computers defragment themselves every week while you are not using it. You don't need to defragment it and as a computer will do it itself. It's bad enough for a hard drive but don't get me started on SSDs or solid state drives. SSDs don't need to be defragmented at all. The original hard drive has moving magnetic parts, so by defragmenting the computer needs less time to get to that area where the data is located. SSDs, on the other hand, don't have moving parts and are generally better than hard drives. What's even worse is because uh, SSDs have a limited number of times they can be read and written to. By defragmenting, you are wasting read and write cycles and that way shorten the life of your SSD. Just don't do it. Number 3. RAM Cleaners of course, some people who know a bit more about computers will try and track down what is causing the problems in the task manager. And you see, oh no, RAM is course if you're filled. Now a lot of people will probably go and type RAM cleaner in Google and download some shitty program that claims clean RAM will improve your performance. Listen guys, don't download these programs. Of course, if your net RAM is nearly completely full, you should try closing a few programs and check if some programs are taking a lot of memory, like Chrome and Opera. But essentially, you want that RAM to be used. Free RAM is waste RAM. If you're frequently hitting the 100% mark in the task manager, then you either have a rogue program or it's time for an upgrade. Who knows what those RAM cleaners are doing under your nose? Number four, clearing your cache. Okay, now this is mostly a half of it, but still worth to point out. Now you might see that your web pages are being slow and think uh, maybe the cache is clogged. Well, Mister, you are doing the exact opposite. Now let me explain what cache is. So cache is space your browser or other programs usually reserve in order to put temporary files there. Sometimes when you close the program some files might get left over so you should probably clean the cache uh, only once every 6 months or so. But in the cache are stored the web pages themselves and all the data like photos, uh, scripts, um, images and stuff like that. By deleting the cache you are making the browser re-download all the data and naturally slow down your load times. I would only do this say if I had an 80 gig drive that needed a megabyte or two for my favorite game. Now that you have literally terabytes of space, yep, that's about 1 terabyte is 1000 gig gigabytes, so there's no need to delete the cache. Number 5, stopping services. Okay, this one is a bit big. You don't want to stop services in Windows. If you stop uh, a critical service, your computer can become unstable and sometimes crash. A lot of stuff relies on Windows services and simply disabling them is doing more bad than good. Everything from your speakers to your firewall is in there. There is even a plug and play service uh, that if it is disabled you won't be able to plug in new hardware without downloading new drivers. Wanna see? Good luck installing your monitor when your old one is smashed. And that's my roundup for the top 5 annoying performance myths. Do you have any suggestions for the video? Comment down below. Wanna see a possible part 2 of this? Click the like button and share this video to your grandma and her friends who are that familiar with computers. This was Brokeman's PC and I'll see you guys in the next video.